Think about it. In reality, magic is something happening. I'm not going to try and convince you of anything. I'm going to be extremely objective in everything that I say. By the end of the video, you can make your own mind up. Anyone who's on a spiritual path will have a lot of doubts. And that's very normal. Even the people that are not on a spiritual path will have a lot of doubts about the people that are saying what they're saying that are on the spiritual path. It's an awakening. Like, what are you waking up to? Well, many things, but essentially like the kind of end goal to what you're waking up to is the truth of life, reality, the existence that you're in. Your reality is changing and that's pretty big for someone's reality to change is a big sell and in this video i'm going to go through things that are going to help you be able to understand and open your mind towards new ideas so let's start with the concept of magic because most of the time whenever someone's on a spiritual path and tries to share it with someone that's not on a spiritual path usually there's the mocking or shaming type of response where it's like what you believe in that stuff you believe in magic but what is magic? And I don't mean the card tricks where magicians do, you know, like that sleight of hand type thing. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about actual magic. What is magic? What do you define as magic? There could be so many different things that you could say magic, but essentially think about it. In reality, in your reality, whatever reality you want to experience or say that you're in, magic is something happening that you cannot explain how it happened. There have been many times in human history where we have thought things that are happening are magic. For example, if I go back to the 1600s and I take my smartphone with me back in time, I will speak to the people and show them my smartphone. They will look at that and be completely blown away by it. They will see that as magic. They will not be able to comprehend the understanding of what that even is. This thing that gives light and other human beings and pictures and videos and text and all of that stuff is just mind blowing to them. If you did that, you might even get hung for it. It would be seen as magic. Now, that would be in the exact same reality, but the time would be different. In the 1600s, many, many years ago, but still in the same reality. Now, if you were to take the smartphone back to the 1600s with the whole system of the internet around the world and how it works, and then you were to teach the people in that time how it works, maybe it might take a month for them to understand, maybe it might take a year, however long it takes, if you were to teach them how it works, once they have that understanding of how it works, it's no longer seen as magic because now they have that understanding of it. Magic is only something that you cannot explain how it works. At one point in human history, we refer to as women giving birth as magic. I mean, it is really, if you think about it. But once we understood what happens in the stages and the steps and what's going on, we no longer see it as magic. So if you think about it, magic for human beings is only things that we can't explain how it works. And this is where a lot of people need scientific evidence. I'm not going to believe it until you prove it to me scientifically. And that's understandable and that's fair. I'm not trying to say anything bad about science. Science is amazing. Most people believe that spirituality and science are opposites and that is absolutely not the case at all. Everything in reality is part of the spiritual being's experience. So science is actually spiritual as well. But most of the time you will get someone who needs that explanation and understanding before they believe anything. Now, if you are able to do something in this reality, but not explain it, then it will be seen as magic. And because we live in a time where everything is very, very science based, 3D reality, matter based, I need that evidence of how it works before I believe it, then anything that would seem like magic or is magic is disregarded. Magic is even seen as this thing that I'm not even going to give my attention to. This is how we close our minds, stop the exploration. Now, if something is possible in reality and you cannot explain it, doesn't mean that it's not real. For example, we have taught monkeys how to drive automatic cars. A monkey can drive an automatic car and that monkey could drive the car and then go to its other monkey friends and go, hey, I've just driven a car. And the other monkey friends could be like, no, you haven't. That's ridiculous. There's no such thing as cars. You can't drive a car. Because no, no, I, I did. I, I got in this car, put my foot down and it drove around. No, nah, I don't believe you. Yeah, yeah, I drove this car. It's got an engine that runs the car and I put my foot down and the engine just makes this noise and it moves the car. Well, 
All right, we'll prove it. Tell me how the combustion engine works. A monkey cannot explain how the combustion engine works. A monkey doesn't have the ability to describe and explain how the car is performing and working in this reality. But it still exists. It still works. We know that in the same reality that the monkey is in, the car is in, and the monkey can drive the car. But because the monkey can't explain how the car works, does that mean it's fake? Not real? Magic? Just because we are not at a place of being able to explain how something works to the degree where science needs it, doesn't mean that it's not true doesn't mean that it doesn't work it's still in the same reality an ant cannot explain rocket science to anyone or anything but they are both in the same reality and they both exist in the same reality for someone that is going through their awakening their spiritual journey they are awakening to their reality to their understanding of how reality works to the understanding that we are manifesting our own experience, our own reality. My reality is a reflection of me, the reflection of who I am as a spiritual being in this level, at this plane, who I am as the conscious driver of this human being. I am becoming more aware of myself and by becoming more aware of myself, I'm becoming more aware of my reality because my reality is me. I am in the reality. I am awakening to this truth. Now that that can seem like magic. Manifesting your reality, creating what you are experiencing is magic. Magic is only magic until it's proven. That doesn't mean the thing that is being labeled as magic isn't true or isn't real. Your reality is a reflection of you. It's a continuous feedback to parts of yourself because you are multiple parts. You are not one part. You are not one thing. And in order to create the reality that you want, you need to understand your internal world. You need to become aware of your internal world. You need to raise your self-awareness. If you want to go down the rabbit hole of learning more about raising self-awareness, you can watch my free masterclass by clicking the link in the description. Everything is energy in this reality. Every single thing is energy, including you, including your inner world. If you look at it from an energetic point of view, you need to evolve and change your energetic inner world, then your outer world will reflect that change. Manifesting your desires is not by just constantly bulldozing everything that comes up in your internal world and trying to focus on one thing. That is not how it works. It's more about understanding what you are rejecting within yourself because you are the code that is creating the experience that you are living in. Your belief system is what's creating your reality. So if you're in a place where you are believing that magic doesn't exist and everything that you're hearing is a lie that's fair that's completely okay but your belief system is creating your reality and you will not be able to create the reality that you want by simply not being open to the possibilities that magic is real because it's only magic until it's explained or proven how it's done have a lovely rest of the day